Okay, in this lesson, we're gonna practice subtracting our whole numbers. This is lesson six. So let's look at our first example. The Trevino family is moving to a new city. They've already driven 957 miles out of the 3,214 that they still need to drive. So how many more miles do they need to go? So our keywords, I've circled right there, out of, we're gonna take 957 right out of 3,214. So let's follow the steps. It says we're gonna subtract the ones. So let's come over here and evaluate. We have four ones and it tells us that we're gonna subtract or take away seven. So if you have four, can you take seven away? No, you can't. So you're gonna to have to go next door and you're not going to borrow. Borrow means you're gonna give it back someday and we're not. You're gonna take a group of 10 and we're gonna put a zero here to record that we've got no tens left and we're gonna put it right there. Now that I have 14 ones, I can take seven out, which leaves me seven. So step two tells us that we now move to the tens. Well, in the tens, let's read it. It says we have no tens and we have to take five away. Well, that's impossible too. So we're again gonna go next door to the hundreds and we're gonna regroup a group of 100 in the tens column and we're going to leave behind one group of 100. We had two hundreds, we took one, we've left one behind. So now we can solve the tens column. 10 minus five is five. So now let's move to the hundreds. We have one group of 100 and we're gonna take nine groups of 100 away and that's impossible. So we're gonna go to the thousands and we're gonna take a group of 1,000. So we're gonna leave two groups of 1,000 there and we're gonna move it right there. So now we have 11 minus nine. That leaves us with two groups of 100 because two plus nine is 11. And lastly, in our thousands place, we have two and we're not taking anything away. And so that leaves us with two. So 3,214 minus 957 equals 2,257 miles so the Trevino family still needs to drive 2,257 more miles. Let's look at example two. Here in example two, well, they give you a couple of, of vocabulary words, the minuend and the subtrahend, okay? And the minuend is the first number in a subtraction problem, and the subtrahend is the one that comes out of that first number. So let's look at example two. The band has raised this much money towards new equipment, but their goal is to raise 4,275. So how much money still needs to be raised? And in this estimate, they rounded first. So they took 4,275 and they rounded it to the nearest hundred. So 4,275 rounds up to $4,300. They did the same thing with the next number, 1,375 rounded to the nearest 100, rounds down to $1,300. So all in all, when you subtract those, our answer hopefully is gonna end up somewhere near $3,000. Now let me just say, they're never gonna tell you what place value to round to when you're um, checking your work using estimation, but it's generally gonna either be to the largest place value or to the second largest place value most of the time. Okay, so let's start with step one. They told us to subtract the ones. So we have the menu end, we're gonna take out the subtrahend, that left us with the zero. Now we're gonna subtract the tens. We have seven tens, we're gonna take out four tens, that leaves us with three tens. Then we're gonna move on to the hundreds. We have two groups of a hundred from which we're supposed to take three. If you have two, can you take three away? No, 
So we're going to go next door to the thousands. We're going to leave three thousands there, and we're going to take one and regroup it. So now we have 1,200 minus 300. So 12, take away 3, 12, 11, 10, 9, leaves us with 9. And lastly, we work in the thousands, and we have 3,000 minus 1,000 leaves us with about 2,000. So take a look at that. Does that turn out pretty close to our estimate? It does. So the band still needs to raise $2,930. Okay, now here's something really important. You can't forget it, right? There is no reason that anybody should ever miss a subtraction problem because you can check your subtraction. Okay, you can add your answer to the subtrahend to get the minuend. So you add the bottom number to the middle number and it should equal the top number. And if it doesn't, you've made a mistake. So here, that's what they're showing you. They had 4,275, they subtracted, we got 2,930, so then they rewrote it as an addition problem. 2,930 plus that middle number equaled the top number. So you can see right here that those guys are the same. That tells you that your answer is correct. So let's work one, all right? So let's evaluate our problem. I have two ones and I'm supposed to take away five. Can I do it? No, I'm gonna have to go next door. I'm gonna have to take a group of 10. Now I have 12. 12 minus five leaves us with seven. Moving on to the tens, five minus four is one, nine minus eight is one, and two minus nothing is two. Now, I can say that seven plus five is 12, one plus four is five, one plus eight is nine, and two plus nothing is two. I know, because I checked my work, I know that that problem is correct. So you will always, always check your subtraction using addition. I hope that helps.